Thanks for joining. This is Movado. I'm here in Empyreon Ascension RE Unchained. Find myself out in Legacy Sector today uh, doing some testing against Legacy CVs uh, against the SVs. Against the SVs that are in the game. So, what I have here is my Erebus AU. I called it the CV Killer. The reason why is because I changed this loadout to a bunch of gamma weapons. Uh, and then I put a whole bunch of minigun turrets on it because there's going to be a lot of drones here. I do still have plasma. The plasmas are going to focus on um, aiming at the turrets of the enemy CV, but really my, my goal is I'm going to use these gamma weapons to quickly take the... Oh, it's an eradicator too. Perfect. To quickly take down its shields uh, and then aim for its core and snipe its core out. Uh, so I actually, right before I recorded this video, I actually recorded two more encounters with uh, Legacy CVs. Uh, one of was an Eradicator and one was an Infector. The Infector died super easy. Uh, the Eradicator I actually had no problem uh, killing either. Uh, and the Eradicator is here. Um, so, you know, the key is to just stay moving. And the way I have everything set up is the plasma turrets are always focused on turrets on the CV only, so I'm always doing damage to the ship if I'm within range. And then all my miniguns are just going to aim for those drones, which which they do a pretty decent job at killing. So here we go. I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to stay in movement, stay agile. Uh, the one thing is you do have to lead the infector. So they are not hit scan, these lasers. So right now I'm just really focusing on getting its shields down. Shields are down, and now I'm going to aim for that core area, which is right in that circle. And I'm just going to keep aiming right in there. And I'm just going to keep sniping that area, watching my shields. You do have to lead it, which is hard. The more practice you get at this, I'm sure the better you'll be. kind of want to aim right up there pulses. Alright, let's get away here. Let's get in front of this thing. The nice thing with using these SVs is that they are actually faster than the, than the CVs. So you can you can kind of outrun them and then you, you intend to avoid a lot of their shots too. Should be careful getting too close because they do have those lightning cannons which, which do a ton of damage. But as you can see on my shield, I'm, I'm not really even taking any damage was too far behind and he is a tough guy to keep up with Let's see where I got to aim here yeah he is booking he is booking dang 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 he's like no I see what you're up to I'm getting the F out of here he is afraid of me that was pretty good there Those are all hitting pretty much where I wanted them to. He is missing me. I think once you get going this fast, he just can't... He can't track you. And I am, I think I'm getting some damage in there. Yeah, those are all good shots, I'm pretty sure. Kind of strafing and getting those shots in there. hard hard to be accurate but I, I don't think it's going to take very long something blew up on his ship and I need to catch up here it's like blah, 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 <laughs> yeah those are all pretty good shots there Asteroid. Hey yo. Surprise. Alright, let's get up here and get some shots. We're not talking about getting drunk. We're talking about getting some shots on this guy to kill him. 
Oh, I saw his lightning bolt there too. He missed me. I could go into first person view. I do have a first person view from this back secure cockpit. But I, uh, I'm not going to. I kind of like this third person. Dang, he's hard to hit though. He's hard to hit. He's definitely harder to hit than the uh, than the last one that I killed. Um, the last guy wasn't booking this fast. I'll be honest. My shield is back up to charge. That's the nice thing about Ascension is if you're not doing damage, your shield recharges pretty quickly. Get going here. Getting in there. And his, his little electrical shots are missing me. Now, when 1.7 comes out, this is going to change because I'm pretty sure in 1.7 uh, there's going to be some beam lasers that are always going to do damage. And this is, uh, you know, Ascension isn't really a fully, I mean, it's still in development at this point, so things will change for sure. pretty good in there. Yeah, this is actually working pretty good getting in close. It just it's hard to do for sure. If I can avoid damage for far enough, for long enough, I'll recharge. Not like that, though. There, I took some shots. All right, let's get back in here. Pretty soon, he's, soon he's going to go, though. Or I'm not going to pay attention, and he's going to pop my shield, and I'm going to go. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? But yeah, you can see that my oh, there, my shield just recharged. You can see that my turrets, my plasma turrets, are still shooting. Uh, and doing damage. Oh, there's a little bit of lag in there. Yeah, his core is almost exposed at this point. There he goes, core's done. Legacy infector's dead. Eradicator's dead. Boom. Alright. Now we get the swarm of drones. Which is why I have like 14 miniguns. Yep, 14 miniguns. And none of these are tier 2. None of these are upgraded. Uh, I chose not to upgrade them just to make it a little bit cheaper for spawn, just for demonstrations. And here is one. And overall, in terms of ammo, I don't know how many rounds of, of ammo I used on the on the gamma charges, but gosh, that's pretty cheap in terms of ammo to kill that eradicator. All right, where are you guys? Here's one. It's like it's like they don't want to come closer. All right, I'll come to you. Oh, I missed. Missed again. Oh, he's dead anyway. See those miniguns tore it up. That was fast. The eradicator still has an ex exclamation point. It's like, dude, you're dead. 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 Alright, what else is next? Symbiote. As soon as this is done, I'm going to go check out the inside of that, that uh, eradicator as well.
either died. Oh, I'm getting shot at by the anomalous station. Here's one. That's funny. It's getting stunned from those mini guns. Where are you? You're too far away. I wish they'd come in closer. So I can go in and check out that eradicator. So like you can see in, in, in night vision here, this whole bottom is completely untouched. Every turret, every block of Xeno is all still there. That effect is kind of creepy. As you spin around, all the turrets are here around the sides. There's probably a couple turrets missing in a couple spots. That huge drive thruster's there. But all these turrets are here. All the damage was really right up the middle. And overall, I did a pretty good job isolating it. Um, yeah, I think there's a shield generator. Maybe I blew that out. I think that's maybe missing, or it's just not loaded into vision. Either way. Turn that night vision off. Either way, it's a pretty clean kill in terms of how to kill this thing. Uh, and with an SV, you can really see the speed with the advantage the speed gives you. Uh, get being able to go so fast. Where is the drones? Oh, it's spinning. Bet you if I cord it. Oh, it is pushing me. All right, well, that's interesting. Well, you know what I'm going to do, just for the sake of getting this going here. Turning AI off, I'm going to go into the item menu, and actually, I guess it was on already, and I'm going to grab a core. And I'm going to put this core power that off and then I'm going to turn the thrusters off that's always what you do if you ever have a ship that has a problem it's always related to the thrusters so there's two things you can do is is either one you can core it and then turn the thrusters off here or or you can blow them you can remove them all you can salvage them all uh, but that'll always fix pretty much all the glitches that they have not all of them but a lot of the glitches is turning those thrusters off okay Flip around, get oriented with the top that I blew the hole in. Get right up here, up and close. Now, let's see. Yeah, there was a shield in here. I blew that out, so I did blow out the shield. Actually, let me go to the back first. Because you've got a loot container. And then you got another loot container. And then you got another loot container. So there's a bunch of loot containers back here. I don't think there's anything back further. I'm not an expert on all the loot in this ship, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Now, going forward, again, I'm going to go through this side hallway. There is a hallway around here that kind of goes around that core room because the core is like right in here core was like right in there somewhere this hallway goes around the outer perimeter really nothing here 
there is a generator in here somewhere. Oops. Yep, it's right here. Here's the generator. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to keep going this way. Take out the glass. And here's the hallway. Here's the hallway. The hallway on this is the same as a uh, Devastator. Advanced. Heavy. Cool. So there's going to be loot boxes on the side. And now they move the quantum boxes to the floor here. There's one. And there's another one. So there's two of them in the floor. And they're not always quantums. As you see, I got a disruptor cannon. The boxes. You remove this warp drive and there's one more in front of it. And this part of it is, is pretty much identical to a Devastator. That hallway, except in a Devastator there's only one uh, quantum box. Um, yep, down here, same thing as a Devastator. There's the ex advanced extenders. Uh, and, you know, the quantum box was right there. And right there. So I guess it kind of depends if you want to go down the hall this way. Oh, here's a box. Imagine there was probably one here. Right next to the core. I missed those the first time through. And I think that's it. I think that's I think that's the eradicator. I think that's everything on the eradicator. Cool. Well, that was fun. Well, now that you've seen that uh, you can take out an eradicator with an SV appropriately named the CV Killer using the Gamma. What are these things? Uh, what's the official name on these things? Sorry, I'm going through the wrong menus. They are called Small Modulator Pulse Lasers, Lasers Gamma. So those things are pretty freaking sweet in Ascension RE Unchained. Cool, fun times. Well, I hope you liked what you saw. If you have any questions, please do let me know. And of course, uh, if you liked what you saw, like and subscribe. Thanks for joining, and see you next time.